Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry and today we have a little bit of news about the Vigim Bus driver that is sort of at the core of a lot of different third-party controller drivers and other software and uh, that is it's getting retired and then later the name of it is getting changed to a new software and you're probably thinking to yourself that's cool Larry does this really affect me and the answer is yes and no they are going to be retiring the domain that the software you currently have on your computer for like ds4 windows and similar softwares uh uses to update the vision bus driver and it does that automatically occasionally when you boot software that uses it so with that in mind um they they do have a little piece of software here called the legacinator that will go through and automatically change the domain to the new domain that updates it. Uh, and the long story is basically what happened was the nefarious software solutions had a trademark dispute where their Vigim bus program used part of the name Vigim, which is cop, which is trademarked by Vigim GmbH. So rather than go into some pointless legal fight over a software name that they're not terribly attached to they agreed to transition away from the name this year and shut everything related to that trademark down and then either retire it archive it or get rid of it now they are going to relaunch this software under a new name later but for right now while things are transitioning and they're tweaking stuff the main idea here is that by changing the domain of where vision bus updates from you don't have to worry about somebody else buying that domain name later and accidentally you downloading something weird from somebody we don't know or trust. So that's kind of the gist about it. So they were nice enough to put together a little tool called the Legacinator here, which I will put a link to this stuff in the video description below for you to grab yourselves. And all it is is just a little exe that you can run following these instructions, which will fix the Vision Bus updating URL so that it's not pulling from the old one. So we're gonna run that here today and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So here it is, I've already downloaded it. It's in my downloads folder in a Vision Bus folder. I'm gonna go ahead and run that. It's gonna pop open and black out my screen asking me for admin permission to make changes to my computer. And then it did in fact, once I ran this, found an outdated version of Vision Bus Updater. So I'll just click on this button that's like a bomb and then it's like all good. Your system is free of any known problematic legacy drivers. And that's literally it. Okay, cool. Thanks, buddy. Glad you could give me a hand. So that's pretty much the long and short of it. Um, go ahead and run this updater on your own computers to make sure everything is cleaned up and taken care of. It's sort of annoying when drivers have to make like name changes for legal reasons because all I'm here for is making a controller run on your computer, right? And you just want to get your controller to run on your computer. So it sucks when that is impeded by this sort of stuff. But I mean, the Vigium company probably didn't like come out here and say like, oh, we got to destroy this company. No, they probably had like another completely valid piece of software that they were running and using completely unaware that Vigium bus was out here like making drivers and helping people connect software to game controllers. So that's sort of the PSA for today. You can kind of run through here and look at other ways of like, you know, if you don't want to update this software too, you can just uninstall Vision Bus. And they explain how to do that on this FAQ page here for the end of life statement. And I'll also throw in just for funsies in case you're curious about what Vision Bus was. Um, Vigium, or more commonly known as Vigium Bus, was a redistributable framework for Windows consisting of a kernel driver and a user mode library of C, C++, .NET framework stuff, and various other community-provided bindings. Its purpose was to provide the developer with a software equivalent of the popular Microsoft Xbox 360 and Sony DualShock 4 controller and feedback, or and feed their inputs via an API. This enabled pretty much any application to emulate commonly known virtual game controller devices for whatever purposes envisioned by the author. Which is a fancy way of saying it allows you to more easily use 
game controllers on your PC, both as a user and as a games developer, or a software developer in general. Um, it kind of sucks that they had to change the name. I've been seeing Vision Bus for a long time now. I've been making these tutorials for like, what, five, six years? But hey, stuff happens, so just thought I'd let everybody know. So bye, everybody, and have a good one. Do your updates or uninstalls as appropriate. If you don't use the software anymore, maybe just remove it from your computer until they update with the new stuff. Otherwise, update so that it doesn't have a problem with uh, the updating URL, and everybody should be happy. Bye!